Okay, in this video we will do the specific example of the variation of parameters and the example is 4y double dash minus 4 by dash plus y equals to uh, square root of x into e to the power x that can be written as under root of x into uh, x to the power 1 by 2 into e to the power x by 2. So first step is we have to convert it into the standard form y double dash plus p of x into y dash plus q of x equals to r of x. So first step is we divide it with the leading coefficient here. We have constant coefficient. So variation of parameters is also applicable with the constant coefficient but if, if there are functions of x here instead of 4 and minus 4 or 1 we can also uh, apply variation of parameters. So variation of parameters you can say it is like a versatile kind of uh, method that is applicable to the every type of non-homogeneous uh, linear differential equations. So first step is convert it into the standard form. So solution is y double dash minus y dash plus 1 by 4 y equals to x 1 by 2 e to the power x by 2 divided by 4. Now it has uh, converted into the it has been converted into the standard form so check its complementary solution and from the complementary solution we generalize its particular solution so for the complementary solution the auxiliary equation for this is m square minus m plus 1 by 4 equals to 0 we have to apply the quadratic formula applied then it becomes minus into minus 1 b is minus 1 plus minus um, 4 in 1 1 square minus 4 into 1 into 1 by 4 divided by 2 into 1 so 1 plus minus uh, 4 and 4 cancels each other 1 minus 1 is 0 so that becomes 0 I think roots are real now not uh, complex roots so that becomes uh, 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 means 1 by 2 plus 0 and 1 by 2 minus under root 0, 0, 0 into root 0 is 0. So we have two uh, repeated real roots and that is 1 by 2 and other one is also 1 by 2. So that are repeated real roots. Complementary, complementary solution is c1 e to the power x by 2 and c2 x e to the power. Alright, so our complementary function is y c is equal to c1 e to the power x by 2 plus c2 x e to the power x by 2. So I am selecting now yp and yp is totally dependent upon these two functions. This is y1 and y, this is y2 x into e to the power x by 2. So uh, that means that these two are linearly independent functions and you have to take yp as u1 e to the power x by 2 plus u2 x e to the power x by 2. So uh, second is u2 dash into this sorry. So u1 dash into y1 dash plus u2 dash into y2 dash. Now identify these y1 and y2 functions. y1 is basically e to the power x by 2 and y2 is basically x into e to the power x by 2. So what you need to do, you just have to do first derivative of this. So first derivative of y1 dash is 1 by 2 e to the power x by 2 and y2 dash is, you have to use the product rule here. So product rule here is e to the power x by 2 plus um, x by 2 into e to the power x by 2. Just replace it and just it's it make it Ronskian and that's it. So that means u1 dash into y1 is e to the power x by 2 plus u2 dash x into e to the power x by 2 equals to 0. And again u1 dash is y1 dash that is 1 by 2 e to the power x by 2 divided by 2 plus u2 
dash you know u2 dash into um, y2 dash into this that develops the ronskian and you have to write it the right hand side of this so that is not equal to zero that is equal to r of x second equation this is the first equation and this is the second equation so you have to write the r of x and r of x is this term it is x to the power 1 by 2 into e to the power x by 2 divided by but out of these two equations i will develop that e to the power x by 2 into x e to the power x by 2 and again the second term is the unknowns are the unknowns are u1 dash and u2 dash okay and is equal to 0 and uh, second one is x to the power 1 by 2 into e to the power x by 2 divided by 4 okay now um, this y1 dash is e to the power x by 2 divided by 2 and second one is e to the power x by 2 plus x e to the power x by 2 divided by 2 so um, first by using the Cromer's rule uh, u1 dash can be determined as u we replace this as first column that says that 0 um, x to the power 1 by 2 e to the power x by 2 by 4 um, into x e to the power x by 2 e to the power x by 2 plus x e to the power x by 2 divided by 2 divided by this Ronskian and Ronskian is e to the power x by 2 x e to the power x by 2 again x e to the power x by 2 divided by 2 e to the power x by 2 plus x e to the power x by 2 divided by 2, two variables that's it and you have to cross multiply these two so that becomes x 1 by 2 terms are same powers are added and e to the power x by 2 plus e to the power x by 2 the base bases are same so powers are added and this i this ronskian now ronskian is e to the power x by 2 bases are same so powers are added plus x by 2 into e to the power x by 2 into x by 2 okay and uh, minus x by 2 into e to the power x by 2 plus x by 2 that makes it e to the power x so that becomes x to the power 3 by 2 e to the power x divided by e to the power x plus x into e to the power x divided by 2 um, minus x e to the power x divided by 2 so that cancels each other and this e to the power um, and it, it remains uh, i will do it in the next step and that is x to the power 3 by 2 e to the power x divided so what you have to do you have to take the integral integral of u1 dash is integral of x to the power 3 by 2 so that makes it and one more thing uh, i have i think i have missed one constant yes i have missed this i am just using the power rule directly 3 by 2 plus 1 makes it 5 by 2 and also one more thing is minus sign so uh, because these two b and c are multiplied so you have to take it minus sign as common so here it should be minus so um, x to the power 3 by 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 2 5 by 2 5 by 2 divided by 5 by 2 so if you cross multiply it it becomes minus 2 by 20 so u1 dash is u1 is here minus uh, 2 by 20 x to the power 5 by 2 that makes it minus 1 by 10 x to the power 5 to 2 it's so simple now for u2 dash you know that you have to replace this column so that becomes e to the power x by 2 e to the power x by 2 divided by 2 into 0 x e to the power this by 2 so here we don't need the negative sign because these terms are a into d that becomes 
x to the power 1 by 2 e to the power x by 2 plus x by 2 divided by 4 divided by same Ronskian term in the u1 dash thing so e to the power x by 2 into e to the power x by 2 now i am writing it directly e to the power x plus e to the power plus x into when it is multiplied with the second term then it makes it e to the power x divided by 2 plus sorry minus now it is cross multiplying it this term and this term so minus x into e to the power x by 2 same thing is it cancels each other and this makes it e to the x to the power 1 by 2 e to the power x divided by 4 and here it becomes e to the power x that cancels each other so that becomes x to the power 1 by 2 divided by 4 so u2 is integral of this int uh, 1 by 4 integral x to the power 1 by 2 into so this dx. is u1 and this is u2 and you just need to replace these values as uh, y p equals to u1 of x is basically you you now see that these are uh, u1 and u2 are just functions of x not a constant so minus 1 by 10 x to the power 5 by 2 into uh, first function is e to the power x by 2 and a second function is u2 is 1 by 6 x to the power 3 by 2 into second function y2 is x e to the power x by 2 so that is the particular answer and in the uh, general solution you just need to write it c1 e to the power x by 2 plus c2 uh, into x e to the power x by 2 plus this particular part so this is the general answer so that's it it is so simple and it is applicable and it's a versatile method to every kind of non-homogeneous linear um, high order differential equations so i hope that you understand if you have any queries you can ask me in the online lectures thank you so much mm -hmm.